Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little overview of the products that I like to use when preparing a burning smoke up for show. My number one go-to is the big case, like a rush. Um, I love it for Bernie's Mountain Dogs, um, especially big, heavy coated ones. It really gets in there. Um, they're pin brush um, on a rake type handle. Um, again, is really good for getting through these thick coated breeds. Um, I have a pin brush for just finish brushing. Um, I love the shine for sure. Um, I don't put a lot of it on, but sometimes on the butt hair just to lay it nice and flat and give that extra little shine. When I'm prepping, I use the mister with uh, bottoms up. Um, I like to use that all over the dog just to give a little bit more um, texture and volume to the coat um, so that it holds its shape better. I use the cholesterol or chalk mate to hold chalk in their legs and feet. And I use the mister with water or any extra product that you kind of want to put on, but I mainly just use water in this. Um, it's really good for getting them nice and wet. And then my finishing comb, I use the butter comb and I love the fine tooth butter comb for getting the coat nice and straight and doing final combing through um, all over the dog with this comb. Um, when I'm trimming, I use um, just the classic shears, um, a straight scissor I like to use um, on feet and hawks. I use chunkers or blenders or fishtails, um, whatever you prefer to call them, um, for doing um, some of my blending and scissoring um, that is more aggressive. Um, as well as on feet to get that nice finish. And then the thinning shears for the finished final product and for the areas where you don't want to go super aggressively like ears, um, so you don't wanna see any lines. Um, and for the final finish on the feet as well, the thinning shears give a nice final blend. When getting your burner ready for show, you want them to look like they have nice big bone, um, a decent length in neck. They're not supposed to be really long neck, but often they get way too much hair through this area, which gives the illusion that they're really stuffy and that their head is just on their shoulders. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much bulk of undercoat through this section. Um, when you're drying it, you wanna dry it flat and straight. I blow dry from the head to the tail all the same direction at all times. So I'm teaching the coat to lay in the proper direction. Um, a lot of people will blow dry against the grain to give the dog the illusion of more bulk, like, or more body, but then you're gonna get a lot more cowlicks and the hair should lay flat. So from head to, to tail, the same direction, down and back. Um, this area here, you don't wanna allow it to get too much coat. Um, so using the comb or a, um, a coat king, you wanna get some of the bulk out um, of the neck area. You always want the legs to be bulky looking, so back brushing to give the illusion of more bone they can't have too much bone ever, um, in my opinion. Um, you want a nice level top line. So keeping the hair out of this section and laying flat, um, I always, I would say 99% of the dogs I show after they're prepped, I take a chamois or a wet towel and I just lay it on the back and to keep the coat laying flat, it just helps to lay it nice and flat in that section. Comb through everywhere. You want a nice bulky short hawk. You don't want the hawks to look long and a nice bend to stifle. So often I will back comb this section to give the nice bend in the stifle area and then pants are flat. Tail set should be straight off the back, so I typically keep it combed out. You don't want too much hair growing in this area. 
that makes their tail set look higher and a nice big body on them. So I never take a lot of coat out of this section. It's more um, left natural and long. But, and then hair on the hawks always up as well against the grain. And the more you do it, you'll teach the hair to go where you want it to go. So even if you're not showing the dog every week, I start like before a big show, especially, or before a dog is going to be shown, I start maintenance bathing every minimum two weeks and training the coat to be where I want it to be. Um, you can't expect results if you haven't given your dog a bath in six months and then pull it out, rip out its undercoat and show it. You need to, to work the coat to get it and train it to be where you want it to be. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications, that way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.